guys welcome you all to radioactive engineer the youtube channel that guides you about electrical engineering today i thought why not to ask you about uh, the power factor of uh, filament bulb can you guess what is the power factor of 100 watt filament bulb yeah please write in the comments i'm waiting actually in my opinion because the filament is actually a big inductor with lots of turns which i can see in my opinion it might have 0.6 to 0.7 power factor have you written your answer in the comments if yes we can begin testing it why should we waste time over here because i just finished making uh, the power factor measure i'll show you in a moment So guys, this is the power factor meter I made. I used here VMOS D1 Mini. I use this because uh, this project belongs to my friend and he asked me to use uh, VMOS D1 Mini because he needs to upload the data of the power factor to an online server like ThinkSpeak. So he needed a built-in Wi-Fi. You can see over here, here's a small capacitor. I've connected it for power factor improvement. If uh, the power factor goes below uh, 0.8, uh, then this turns on and uh, improves power factor. So this power factor meter is not actually that good because uh, uh, I just modified the CD because uh, it was having less number of turns. So now it is more inductive and the power factor you see on the screen will be affected somehow. Let's now turn it on and see what happens. So here I've turned it on and you can see over here with no load there is a power factor of 0.95 which indicates that uh, the CD is not that good because I modified it and now it is more inductive. So let's see does the power factor change when I plug the 100 watt bulb inside this socket. So let's begin. Uh, please note down the power factor it is uh, now 0.95 and when I place the bulb it is still 0.95 which indicates that this bulb has a power factor of unity and I also have an LED lamp now let's see what its power factor when I plug it in you can see over here it drops slightly because in these type of LED lamps there is an LED driver which possesses an inductor inside and has a really small inductive effect but overall the performance of uh, LED bulb is far better than the filament bulb Power factor improved. Here power factor the bar say original bala. Here fir improved. Capacitor lagaya over. Idhar kya? Here. Aur ye fir capacitor mein hata diya. This question arises to my mind that if the power factor of this filament bulb is unity, then why don't we use it? That is because most of the energy is wasted in the form of heat in these filament bulbs. Because when we power a filament bulb, the filament gets heated and the air surrounding it ionizes easily and most of the electrons jump over the filament to conduct. So the filament of the bulb loses its inductive property and as you know the filament of a filament And as you know the filament of a filament of a regular filament bulb is of uh, a high resistance so when it heat up the resistance further increases which almost finishes its inductive property so only the resistive component is there so that is the reason maybe the uh, why the filament bulb has unity power factor your soldering iron and all the heating filament also have unity power factor because of this such reason. I hope you've learned something new from this video. If yes, click the subscribe button and like this video, share this video or whatever you want to do. And let me know in the comment section if you have any opinion you want to share. And bye. Take care. Bye. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. No, what are you waiting for? Do it.